Well, good morning, Libby. I think we're going to have some good news in that we're not expecting huge widespread areas of severe weather, but we could see a few strong storms over the next few days. Yeah, and unfortunately, we're going to see some heavy rain in some spots. It doesn't look like it'll be quite as heavy as what we went through over the last several days. But yeah, it looks like after one more dry day, the rain returns. <laughs> more wet weather is on the way, whether we like it or not. As far as the weather today, if you're getting your family ready for school, a little cool this morning. Your children probably want to send them with maybe a light coat. Temps in the 40s at 7. A light north breeze will become east by this afternoon and a beautiful day is ahead with mostly sunny skies and a high reaching 72 at 3 actually on the way toward 72 at 3 on the way towards 73 to 74 across eastern Oklahoma. As far as the weather tomorrow, looking ahead toward the rain, we will see increasing areas of rain and thunderstorms. Now, it looks like that the first batch of rain is actually going to arrive during the morning. However, the bulk of the rain tomorrow is going to fall during the afternoon and into tomorrow night. Then for Thursday through Sunday, each day we're going to see a chance for thunderstorms. As far as the overall rain totals for the week, not as much as we saw over the weekend, but we're still going to see some generous amounts of rain, one to two to possibly three inch totals will be most common. Now across Oklahoma this morning, beginning the day with mostly clear skies, there are a few areas of high clouds. These clouds are coming from an area of rain down in Texas. Now that rain is going to stay to our south for now, but some of that cloud cover from the rain is making its way into the state. Most of the rain today is going to occur down along the Gulf Coast. This is the same cold front giving us the cool weather. It is now stalled out along the Gulf Coast and along the Gulf Coast showers and thunderstorms have developed and we'll see more areas of rain developing today. Temps cool down to the west and north, 30 showing up in Kansas. Wichita's at 47, lower 40s into Kansas City with 40s and 50s showing up locally. If you're watching us from Eufaula, you're beginning your morning at 51, 43 Tahlequah, 49 prior, Bartlesville's at 47, Bristow 41, mid 40s into Coffeyville. Right now here in Tulsa, slightly cool or maybe a lot of cools we head on out this morning. May need a light jacket to begin the day. Temps of 49 and a light north wind. On the future track, it shows us staying dry for today. We'll have some high clouds, but no rain. Overnight tonight, you'll notice a few changes if you're out very late tonight and tomorrow morning, as we'll see areas of clouds moving in. Now it's 7 a.m. Wednesday, you can see some showers and thunderstorms moving into southern Oklahoma. As we go throughout the morning, we'll see increasing areas of rain and notice on this future track, it is showing less rain falling east of Tulsa with heavier amounts in the middle of the state. So overall toward Oklahoma City and the I-35 corridor, that's where the bulk of the rain is going to fall. As you make your way to the east, we're not going to see as much rain around tomorrow. So your forecast for today, mostly sunny and pleasant. We'll see a high reaching 73 and then tonight increasing clouds, but the rain holds off tonight. We'll see a low of 54. Your seven day forecast shows increasing wet weather. As far as the severe weather, Libby was asking about that earlier. We don't see one particular day that looks like we'll see huge days of severe weather, but on any day, it's possible that we could see a severe thunderstorm. For tomorrow, cloudy and cooler, most of the rain arriving during the afternoon, though a few showers are possible during the morning. Then looking ahead toward your weekend, we'll have to dodge some thunderstorms on both Saturday and Sunday. Taft?